we want to know what types of problems are easy for humans, but hard for AI. Yeah, I love that. And, and we made sure, because if we're going to claim that humans can do this, <laughs> humans better be able to do it. Humans yeah. better be able to do it. So we went, we got 400 different people down in San Diego and we tested on, tested them on all this. And every task that was in there was solved by at least two people in under two attempts. So humans can do it. We have first party data for that, but AI still can't do it. Mm -hmm. So we claim that we don't yet have AGI for them. But they're kind of hard tasks. They get harder for sure. Yeah. Well, that's what's crazy is the way that I think about it is there's a gap in between what humans can do and what AI can't. That gap is narrowing. And so we need to make sure that humans can still do it within a reasonable attempt. We're not looking at PhDs. We're not looking at two-year-olds to see if they can do uh -huh. this. Um, a, comp a competent person, give them these tasks and see if they can actually do it. So just if you pluck somebody off the streets, they have college education type thing. More or less. Um, so like when we did our when we did our filtering, we made sure that they could use the internet, like th like things like that. Like we didn't <laughs> so want. So my mom is out. <laughs> we, we didn't want to teach them how to use a computer when we <laughs> taught them what ARC was. You know what I mean? And so, but that that uh, doesn't allow us to make the claim about the average human. So we, we're careful about not saying that. That's not where we're going for. Yeah. We're, we're going for a capable human.